Hello friends, welcome to Depth Coding Hub and today we are going to design a new project in Visual Basic that actually explains how to use the arithmetic operators and in this process we will create a very simple but elegant mini calculator project that performs each and every arithmetic operator one by one. So let's jump into the project without wasting any time. Let's start by opening Visual Basic to standard EXE. Let me resize the form. Set the caption of the form as mini calculator. Draw a label. Let us change the caption of the label as enter the first number. Increase the size of the label. Now let us change the font. Let us make it bold, 14, and add a gothic. Try text box. Again, choose the same font. Make it bold and 14. Resize the text box. Let us remove the text by deleting the text property. Now let us copy and paste. Will not create control errors, so it will become text two and level two. We'll change the caption of the second level as enter the second number. Now let's resize it. Set the width to a bigger size. Now it is fitting in one line. Again, paste. Don't create a control error and change the third level to result now three text boxes and three levels are created let us resize the form again add a command button type add as the caption set the font as adogothic set the size to 14 now resize the command button, copy paste to create more buttons. Now the second button will be sub. Again paste, don't create a control array. Paste and create few more buttons. Resize the text boxes together. Add three more buttons. Make the height of all the buttons to 540. Add one more button. Again, resize it to 540 in height. Now change the caption of the buttons. Third one should be MEL for multiplication. Fourth one should be DIV for division. Fifth one should be MOD for modulus or modular division. And the topmost uh, should be clear followed by exit and the last one should be about so let us resize the form again now let us change the back color of the form as dark gray let us select the labels all three levels are selected let us set the back color as dark gray and set the font color as white now the design is complete let us reshuffle the objects a little bit and increase the size of the form so this is the outcome now we can write code we will go to code view in the general sections we will do all the variable declarations deem n1 as integer for the first number 
n2 as integer for the second number and dim res as double for the result. Now the variable declaration is over. Double click on the add button. Take the value of the text box 1. Convert it by using val function and store it in n1. The first number from the text box 1 will be stored. Let us resize the window a little bit so that I can see both the interface and the code. Now see you have taken the first text box data into n1. Second text box name is text2. We will write n2 equals to val of text2.text. We will face the text and convert it to number. Result equals to n1 plus n2 for addition. And then we are going to display the result in the third text box. So text3.text .text equals to str of result. We will convert it to string. Similarly, we can write the code, same code, and change the sign to minus for subtract. For multiplication, asterisk is the symbol. For division, class is the symbol. And for modulus, mod is the keyword. Now for clear, we'll write and clear all the three text boxes. Text one dot text equals to blank. Text two dot text equals to blank and text 3 dot text equals to blank so this clears all the text boxes for exit we'll write end and in the about we'll write a message box we'll write msgbox then the message suppose developed by dch this is the message comma then the type of icon that will be shown will be information and followed by mini calc as the title of the message box. Now let us save this form. Go to D drive, VV projects folder. Let us create one more folder, mini calc. Inside that, we'll be saving the form as FRM mini calc and the project as PRJ mini calc. Let's run and see how it works. See when it is added, it is 57, subtracted, multiplied, divided, modulus, clear is working, about is showing the message at the center of the screen, and exit is closing, so we have to place this form at the center of the screen, so we have got the startup window position property for the form, set to center screen, now it is at the center, and now if the message box appears, it will be at the top of the interface. It's looking better now. You'll observe that when I clear the box, the control is not coming to the post text box. So to do so, we'll go to clear and then write text one dot set focus. It will set the focus to that box once it is cleared. So let us see how it is working. Now another problem is there, when you divide a number by 0, it will show us error that division by 0 is done. Okay, to resolve this, I will go to division, I will write if n2 equals to 0, that means second number is 0, if it is 0, we will put a message box, can't divide by 0. And then I will write vb information and mini calc as the title of the message box. After this we should clear the text box 2 and text box 2 should be getting the focus because we need to write the second number. Else what we can do? We can do calculate n1 by n2 and then display it. For if we will have to write n diff and let us copy this if block. For the modular division also, we will paste it and then we will write the end if. Now let us try this project. Say we are dividing by 0, so we are getting the message. Now there is one more problem. The third text box where result 0 is written is not cleared. We will see 
how we can resolve this problem. So let us again go to the division button. Let's go. After clearing the second text box, we should also clear the third text box. So text three dot text equal to blank in both division and modulus. Now I think this problem is resolved. Even if I divide by zero, then both these text boxes will get cleared. Hope you have liked this project. Give it a try. If you have liked my video, please do share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. That's all in this video. We'll meet in the next video with a new project.